following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. <laughs> Welcome back! What's up, everybody? And here we are on the channel for another food hack video. This is week three of me doing food hacks from fast food restaurants just to see if they're worth the hype. Are these things really good or not? The first two, pretty great. I mean, the first week we'd added chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce to a double cheeseburger. It really wasn't anything really innovative. Week two, breakfast items. We did the Mc1035. We added a hash brown to a McMuffin. We did a couple of different things. Very exciting. But still, left a little something to be desired. So Chick-fil-A it is. Now, Chick-fil-A, I have seen this one all over. I have seen this one on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, on Facebook Reels, and all those different things. I'm seeing it all over the place. So, let's see what it's all about. Now, hello. Don't worry. I actually don't even need this. It's a fork. And I don't even need it. We're going to use the bag for our plate. All right. So this hack requires only four items. And we have them here. We have a chicken sandwich, a mac and cheese, a Polynesian sauce, and a buffalo sauce. That's all we need for this. Now, fair warning on this one. This could be messy. If you're not somebody who doesn't mind messy if you're somebody who's like dear god that is a just mess of a slop i need six million napkins or like me you've got a big beard that is not easy to keep clean when you're eating something messy this may not be for you but maybe it is let's find out by the taste of it first okay so directions are as follows chicken sandwich open up your chicken sandwich throw your piece of chicken back in the bag. We will then add Polynesian sauce to it. I've never had Polynesian sauce. I have no idea what the stuff even tastes like. And we have childproof sauce containers, apparently. That or I'm just special, hard to say. Mom always said I was special. Okay, so now, let's put that there. Polynesian sauce, huh? Ooh, well, that's nice. All right, I can get down with that. Polynesian sauce into the bag with the chicken, okay? Close your bag back up. Success, I think. It's fine. You then take your Polynesian chicken right onto the bun. Again, this is a mess. It's just a fair warning. I know how you skits like them sloppy. <laughs> this is not gonna be easy to eat at all. I can already tell. All right, I gotta say though, how gorgeous is just that? How gorgeous is just the Polynesian chicken? That's beautiful. All right, next. I got a small mac and cheese because of knowing what this hack is. This mac and cheese is still pretty freaking big for this sandwich. The videos show people just doing that with it and just going for it. But that's a lot of mac. Well, all right. That's what, the, that's what I've seen on the videos. So we're going to do it. There we go. Full mac and cheese on the bun. And then the kicker, because the Polynesian sauce is kind of sweet... They then take a little bit of the buffalo sauce and drizzle that onto your mac and cheese, like so. And now we have the Chick-fil-A ungodly chicken sandwich thing food hack. Look at that. Damn! Oh my God. That is gorgeous. That really is. So here we go. That is the chick-fil-a hack that i saw that is a polynesian chicken sandwich with buffalo chicken mac and cheese on top of it all right 
my beard is dreading this one. Dreading it. Like, I feel like I need a bib. I didn't bring a bib. I was not prepared. I don't even think a bib would help. That would just cover here. That would cover under the beard. That's not going to help. All right. Well, ain't nothing to do it. Nothing left but to do it. So, I guess we're going to go for it. Oh, Lord. This is huge. You're going to have to unhinge your jaw for this one, guys. All right. Here we go. Ready? Chick-fil-A hack. Am I getting on me? Yeah. A lot. I'm gonna need a shower after this one. My God. Oh my God, though. Let's talk about how good this is, though. I lied about not wanting my fork. Because as you can see, the mac and cheese is just pouring out. The buffalo with the mac and cheese is next level. The Polynesian chicken is next level. Hands down, best hack I've seen yet, by a long shot. So again, let's reiterate what this is, in case you want to try this at home. Get an original chicken sandwich, a side of Polynesian sauce, a side of buffalo sauce, and a small mac and cheese. You can get a larger mac and cheese if you want, but the small is really all you need. Small is even too much for this, because, I mean, you can see there's mac and cheese falling out all over. It's a messy meal. Messiness is by far, this is one of the messiest things I've done yet. By far. This is not something that you could eat cleanly. This is definitely not something that you could eat without just needing a whole roll of napkins, basically, or paper towels or whatever because this is definitely a mess. However, taste-wise, this is a 9.6 out of 10. The only points it's losing is the fact that it is messy. It is a just slop fest. But otherwise, it's as close to perfection as I have had with a fast food hack or with any food item from a fast food restaurant. The crispy chicken is out of this world. The Polynesian sauce gives it that sweetness and that little bit of the zippiness. Then you got your creamy of the mac and cheese, because there's no cheese on the chicken sandwich. So now you got cheesy macaroni going on, but then you got that little buffalo zip. This is as close to perfection as I have found. It's delicious. I mean, it's out of this world. If you're a Chick-fil-A person, must do. If you're not a Chick-fil-A person, if you're somebody who maybe had a bad experience from Chick-fil-A, or you know what they stand for, and you know their idealistics and how terrible people they are, put that aside. This is delicious. This is absolutely out of this world. They already have one of the best mac and cheeses in the game, by far. Dynamite. Dynamite. There's nothing else for me to say. This is out of this world. With that being said, again, highly, highly recommend this food hack. Of all the food hacks, this is by far the best one I've seen so far. It's the best one I've done so far. I believe I have one more. I have one more food hack for next week, I think, maybe. I think I do. I have one more. One more. And then after that, I have a few other videos. I've actually filmed a few already. I have a whole bunch that I have to edit. I have a whole bunch I have to post. I think I'm going to post one on a random day. I actually got, I think I said it when I recorded it, that I would post it on a random day. A whole bunch of just random things that I found at a grocery store that were brand new. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sorry. But by far, this is the best hack I've seen yet. 
highly, highly recommend. If there's any other ones you guys want me to try, I don't have a set plan for next week's finale, I guess, for this mini series. But if there's something you want to see, let me know. This is your last shot next week. Another fun one. We don't know what it is yet. If somebody recommends something and suggests something from a fast food hack of some sorts that I am going to do, that's what I'll do for the finale. If not, I do have one that I'm kind of working on in my mind. But either way, it's going to be fun, and we have lots of fun stuff coming. Guys, please like, subscribe, share, follow, etc., 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 etc. And we will catch you next time for one last food menu hack idea thing, whatever you want to call it. Go try this. Get the Chick-fil-A Mega Mac Polynesia Buffaloian Chicken Sandwich. I'll make up new words all day long. All day long. Guys, thank you so much once again. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.